So I am pretty excited. I have my enclosure that was built by Brad at SOG Plastics or American Plastics up and running for my Cayman Lizard. She's about five months old and she seems to love it. Some of the things that I had that I really like about this is that I was able to have Brad make me these T-screens up top on both sides. I had him make these specifically for my Arcadia Thermal Zoo Pro. It fits it perfect. I wanted to keep all my electronics and wires on the outside to maximize space on the inside. I can have it running parallel like this with the enclosure or I can turn it perpendicular on either left or right side. It also gives me a lot of ventilation options. He scored the bottom of the tees so I can break them off so that I can place different, so I can manipulate humidity a little bit. Another thing I'm pretty proud of myself about is finding these massive shower handle doors. Allows me to easily open up and close and I can take them off real easy without any adhesive suctions. There's Vega hanging out. So yeah, this is, this enclosure is eight feet long, five feet tall, and four feet wide. I've got a 110 gallon pond in there and about 12 cubic feet of substrate. Some canna lilies, pothos. Got a Lima shovel nose tiger down in the shovel nose. I have a Lima shovel nose catfish. I think it's about 16 inches down there. He's about six inches now turquoise seven and about eight tiger silver dollars that filter the circular filter is foam with a bunch of bio beads and lava rocks in the bottom i've got a pump that runs the whole thing that's uh 13 40 gallons per hour i've only got one cord coming out of the top the other little cord is for my camera. One cord coming out. I didn't want to have to deal with a whole bunch of intakes and outtakes for canister filters. And then I've got a little pond spillway waterfall right there. A whole bunch of cork ordered in. Pretty good deal from Maryland Cork. Good folks there. Built my tree out of it. I'm happy. I hope Vegas is happy.